Good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Zubin Dubash, and I lead the digital businesses of uh, Shimaru Entertainment. Uh, today, we are going to talk a little bit about regional, but before that, I'd just like to give you a little perspective of where the industry is going. I'm not going to show any slides, and I'm going to just talk off my head right now. So most of these numbers are very much fresh in my mind. In fact, that's what we live and breathe by every single day. So I'll talk a little bit about numbers. I'll talk about the relevance of why regional is so important for all of us and where the entire digital video consumption is actually headed to. So let's take into perspective the entire infrastructure around how digital video is growing. So what does it take to actually grow that? One is internet penetration across India. Internet penetration across India right now is at about 900 million subscribers. Uh, that includes broadband, fixed wireless, and fixed line. And along with that, so once you have your internet connection, you obviously need devices to actually take you through the entire video experience. Now, how does that actually happen? Through smartphones, smart TVs, and devices that are video enabled. Uh, the smartphone penetration among this is about uh, close to about 450, 500 million smartphones. And uh, connected TVs are right now about a, a million odd growing at a rapid rate, faster than any other of the devices uh, category. And in the next three years, this is touted to grow about 10x. Now, these are numbers just to kind of give you a perspective of what the infrastructure uh, is talking about in terms of growing video as a, as a platform, as, an, as a consumption medium. Now, coming to where the consumption is actually happening, out of those eight, 900 million internet users, one out of two are consuming video every month. So today you can safely say there are 500 million uh, video consuming users in India. Within these 500 million video consuming users, we have uh, close to about a uh, 100 million, 120, 122 to be precise, million subscriptions on OTT. The rest you can safely assume are YouTube and other free award platforms. And these 122 are divided into, let's say, two per household. So you're li literally talking about 60 million households penetrated by an OTT. Now, over the last five years, India has come of age in the OTT space. This is reflective of a lot of content that we all see, a lot of uh, OTT platforms that we all subscribe to. And today, if I had to ask you a question, and let's make this a little interactive, how many OTTs are actually present as we speak, are live as we speak? Would anyone want to guess? Sorry? 40. Would anyone like to take another guess? Sorry? More than that? 20? 40, okay, same 40. 100 plus. So actually the number is in that 70 range. Shimaru Me, which is our OTT, we launched in 2019. At that time we were about the 40 or 42nd player. Okay, now there are, now why is this happening? This is happening because it's a similar trend of what happened in the television era. When TV launched many, many years ago, what was the main reason for us to watch TV? GEC, which is entertainment, sport, and news, right? So that was the core areas of what we wanted. And GEC at that time was purely Hindi. Okay, if you remember when satellite television came in, the first one was Z that came in. And at that point in time, it was that, after Doordarshan, it was Z that broke out into lots of more channels that came in, but primarily Hindi. Now, much later is when everyone started seeing that there are special focus needs of channels that are needed. And within that, there could be affinity groups like devotional or kids channels, or the lowest hanging fruit, which is saying, why only Hindi? Let's give everyone a taste of uh, TV, which is regional. Trust me, it's the same trend that's happening on the OTT space. The OTT space is right now 70 and precisely for this very reason that everyone's coming up and carving out a niche because there's enough and more consumers out there. All they need is a reason to consume content. The lowest hanging fruit in this era for the next three years or maybe more is going to be regional. We haven't yet broken out into affinity-based OTTs to that extent yet. That might be the next wave after the regional wave is done. But regional is definitely the next wave to grow. Now let me tell you a little bit about Shimaru Me. 
We launched Shimaru Me around 2019, and uh, our entire uh, focus as, a, as an organization, Shimaru, as you know, is a 60-year-old, 60-year young brand, if I may say so, because the very fact that I'm standing on the stage and talking about new age technology and content speaks about the fact that we always look at ourselves as learners every five years. We're looking at what the next uh, frontier or the next device or the next technology that consumers are going to consume content on. And one fixed in that equation is we are, our forte lies in content. We understand video content. We follow the consumer on every device that he goes to. So earlier, if it was YouTube some years ago, which we are still present on, to today if it is OTT, and tomorrow if he is consuming content in the metaverse, we will be present across the board because we are following the consumer in his journey of discovering content on any device, and we are very much device agnostic as an organization. So OTT for that matter came in at, in 2019 and we said let's open up our entire content uh, catalog to the entire OTT world and to the customers out there. So today we have about 20,000 hours of content on Shimaru Me. Uh, you must download it at some point and try it out. It will be a great experience for sure. Uh, the content spreads across Bollywood and a few regional content pieces along with devotional kids. Uh, and that's the entire spectrum of content that we've got on the platform. And we've got both a mix of AWOD as well as SWOD content. Now, the reason I'm telling you all of this is that as an organization, we said, let's start and give content to customers and let us see what's happening and where they are actually using all of this. And uh, the first year and a half was very interesting. We learned a lot in terms of consumer behavior, understanding what a consumer is doing with our content. And I have to say this, that the biggest learning for us was that the regional consumption of all our content just blew our socks off. Regional consumption was significantly growing rapidly. We were seeing some amazing numbers on just regional co content consumption. And moreover, we were seeing customers coming and we have that search feature, right? So you search for content. The search gave us even more learnings on what they are finding on an OTT. That gave us, in, in the lockdown, in the peak of the lockdown itself in 2021, we launched our B2C foray. And we wanted to obviously see what is our forte into going into B2C. What do we stand for as an, as an OTT? Our OTT, we said, is uh, we want to go after the cust I mean, a, a particular regional pocket. Why a particular regional pocket? Because we saw there's a genuine need. We went and spoke to customers in that particular market. We picked Gujarati. Now, today I can safely tell you that we are the largest and probably the, the by far the largest OTT, in fact, the only OTT who's actually working on, can I take another five? Sorry, I just had 10 minutes, so I was rambling, but they've given me another five, so I'm going to take the five. Okay. There's a, okay, anyway, it's time up here. Okay. So, uh, on Gujarati, we said, let's go and find out what the customer really wants. And we found out that the customers are genuinely, there's a huge community out there who really enjoys Gujarati content. And for the first time in the entire history of OTT, and I can safely say this that in the, I mean, probably in the world, we're the only OTT who offers an SWAT subscription service with a promise, a guarantee. A guarantee is that we will come, we already have a library of Gujarati content, yes, on the platform. But beyond that, we also offer you one new piece of content every week, guaranteed. Okay? Now, what is this new content? It could be a blockbuster Gujarati film which has just launched in theaters. And eight weeks after theatrical window, it lands direct to digital, or rather, first on OTT, digital premiere on Shimaru Me. That's the first category of movies that we take on. We also commission a whole lot of web series. And we have Nataks, which are plays and theater, which Gujaratis are very, very fond of. It's a big draw and it's a huge craze as far as the Gujarati community is concerned. Now, uh, 
with this promise. And where did this promise come from? From the work and the, the, the discussions, the conversations we've been having with our customers. We saw that customers in general, and that's the normal trend in any OTT, in fact, even in normal uh, TV, I would say, people are not platform loyal. They're not channel loyal. They are only content loyal. So today, if FIFA was not coming on Geo Cinema, you wouldn't have flocked Geo Cinema. You would have gone and flocked another channel on where it is, right? So that is, content is where people go. The channel or the destination is only the means to the end. And that's why people will always be content loyal and not platform loyal. And this is our endeavor to tell customers that do, we are not here in it for a one-off transaction with you. We want to build a relation with you. And here's our promise to you saying, you be a partner of ours, be a member of our entire community, and we will take care of you, giving you one new piece of content every week. Now, the regional consumption on Gujarati, we've done so much of content right now. And we've seen uh, some amazing traction happening right now. We've got millions of customers who are on the platform using our service and paying for our service. So that's a, it's a great uh, reciprocation or it's a great, I mean, it's a great outcome of what our hypothesis was to understand that customers really want to take this kind of content. Now, does it stop at Gujarati? Definitely not. We will definitely go to other regions as well. And uh, regional is the way to grow because you want to tell customers that I will master the art of finding out the right need of what content you need in that particular region and provide it to you, making that customer a real loyal audience to your platform. Now, how do we work? Apart from B2C, we work with a lot of brands and that's probably relevant for this discussion. We work with tons of brands, about 100 plus brands, across various different uh, sectors. We're completely sector agnostic because we follow one principle, which is the CAS principle, content as a solution. We tailor make solutions using content, which is our main forte, our OTT, and cater to your needs, whether it's a challenge you're facing or whether it's an objective you want to deliver and I'll give you some examples. There's a handset manufacturer like an OEM or a, or a device or a, or a connected TV manufacturer who wants to obviously up his sales. And there's such a clear synergy between saying smartphone equals content, therefore you need OTT to come on board, bundle it together, and there you can actually offer it to uh, your customers as an advantage to take that particular product over another product. So it becomes a very good bundling opportunity there. Another bundling opportunity that we do is with ISPs. ISPs, uh, the internet service providers, have this one challenge. They're saying most of our customers are on our base plan, which is only pure broadband. They don't make money on that. They acquire customers on that. This is the insight. So how do we actually tell them? So we say that why don't you come on board, take an OTT, bring in OTT subscriptions, and use that to, to elevate or upgrade your customers from the 400 rupee plan to, let's say, the 1,000 rupee plan. The moment he goes to the 1,000 rupee plan, when you are buying those, those OTT subscriptions in bulk, you are actually seeing a, a lot of value created for the upgrade, and there's a lot of, of revenue and profitability that comes in because of that, and the, at a very marginal cost of inc incremental cost to buy those OTT packs from us. That's the second part. Another exp example is that there are a lot of apps, okay, who actually want to get more engagement on the platform. They're very transaction oriented. How many of us out here would have probably bought a ticket on ClearTrip or any of these uh, travel apps and then gone back to the app for any reason? It's very rare that you'll go back to the app. You'll end up having your ticket on WhatsApp. You probably will have it on your email. You may not even need it at the airport. You'll go for your trip, you'll come back and you may not even realize that you've not used the app after you've booked it. So that was the only need. So we, we picked up this insight and, and told these customers and these clients of ours that why don't we increase your, uh, your time, your time spent on the app. We can integrate Shamarumi into your app and that way you can get video as a, as a vector that your customers can use before your flight, after the flight, on the flight, trip. If it's a holiday package, you can say from check-in to check-out. There's so many innovative things you can do using content as the catalyst to build loyalty on your core product. 
So these are some of the solutions we've been doing. We've been seeing some amazing traction on that. One more I can tell you is uh, an interesting one that we were working with some, um, uh, with the entire hospitality fraternity. Here, the element is that they obviously give you Wi-Fi free, which is part of every room night, check in to check out, and nobody watches the television in the room, right? They are only probably a spa or a banquet just rolling continuously, so you don't end up seeing much. At best, you'll get to see one or two news channels, so there's no value of a television in a hotel room. What value will you get is if you can watch content from the start of your check-in to your check-out, so just in the same way as you do Wi-Fi, you do check-in to check-out content on your phone or maybe on the hotel's chains app. You can watch it out there itself and engage right through the hotel area while you're there itself. And these are some of the solutions we've come up. Just tells you a little bit about the CAS way of thinking that we do. Uh, our consumption on regional, especially on Gujarati, has been growing at a breakneck speed and we definitely see a lot of potential for even in-film placements to come in, especially for our web series. We've seen a lot of brands who come in and work with us on saying, we want dialogue integration, we want sponsorships outside the entire thing, ILUs, we do a lot of that as well. So just to sum it up, if I may, uh, regional is definitely growing, and if you're missing out on that bandwagon, do look back, think a little bit, and uh, bring it as part of your core strategy to address and target the next generation of digital consumers. Thank you.